So what's the easiest way to find your exact foundation shade? In this video, I'll be showing you the secret to finding the exact match. So let's get into it. So the first thing is to find the right category for your skin tone. So there's usually six main categories, fair, light, medium, tan, deep, and dark. So when you're in store or online, you want to only focus on that category. Don't let the pictures fool you, okay? The next is choosing the right undertone within that category. So there's usually three easy ways to find your undertone. Tone. So first you want to look at the color of your veins on your wrist. If your veins are green or olive, then you have a warm undertone. And if you see that your veins are kind of like bluish or purplish, then you have a cool undertone. And if your veins don't have a color, you're either warm or cool, but you can't really see the color of the veins on your hand, maybe because your skin is rich in melanin. But if you're still in doubt, this next technique will work for you. If your skin looks good with gold jewelry and you find yourself wearing gold jewelry more because you like how it comes complements the color of your skin, then you have a warm undertone. And if you find yourself wearing silver jewelry more because you like how it looks on your skin and you feel like it complements the color of your skin, then you have a cool undertone. And if you like both gold and silver jewelry, but you're really not sure, then you have a neutral undertone. One thing I realized is sometimes some brands like to have like the deeper and darker skin tones only with one undertone, but deeper and darker skin tones have so many different undertones. So if you're going to select a foundation, make sure that the category that you're in has a wide range of different undertones and not just one type of undertone. That's really the key to getting an exact foundation match for your skin. So now that you know what your skin tone is and your undertone, you wanna know how foundations describe different undertones. Warm undertones are usually labeled as golden, yellow, sometimes peach, or sometimes they just say warm. So usually neutral undertones don't have a hue underneath their skin. They usually just, if you're brown, then the color of your skin is just brown. It's not like warm, it's not cool, it's just literally just the color of your skin. Cool undertones are usually labeled as pink, tan, or red. So now that you know your skin tone and your undertone, you wanna determine your skin type. If you don't know your skin type, then think about how your skin looks like or feels like when you wake up in the morning. If your skin usually feels dry or you feel like you need to moisturize, then you have dry skin. If you wake up and you're skin is oily all over even on your cheeks then you have oily skin and if you feel like your skin is oily at the center of your face but at the perimeter it's dry then you have combination skin lastly if your skin isn't dry or oily it feels normal you don't break out a lot then you probably have normal skin so based on that there are usually many different formulas of foundation that you can select and use if you have oily skin then you want to go for oil free foundations because if you apply oily foundations on oily skin they will slide off your face which you don't want okay you want a foundation that doesn't contain oils because your skin already has oils and you also want to use a hydrating water-based foundation because if you hydrate your skin it prevents your skin from overproducing those oils matte foundations also work really well with oily skin some of the foundations that are really great for oily skin are Fenty Beauty soft matte foundation that one is one of my faves then the Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation Foundation. and I also really like the Oma Beauty Say What Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. So I like that one because it's matte and it's hydrating. So both of those are ideal for oily skin. I love to feel like brands are using the phrase natural finish to describe a foundation, but they don't really specify like what skin type foundation would work best on just to avoid losing customers. A good way to determine a natural finish foundation that's good for your skin type is looking at the ingredients and seeing whether it contains oils, water, or even like like hydrating properties for instance the lys foundation says it's a natural finish but if you look at the ingredients it contains hyaluronic acid which is hydrating but it also contains oils so that wouldn't be ideal for oily skin if you have dry skin then foundations with oils are fine usually they'll be referred to as like radiant luminous hydrating or even sometimes moisturizing some that i love for dry skin that have a wide range of shades are the nars natural radiant foundation i also really like like the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. One that is a drugstore that is one of my favorites is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation. So if you have combination skin, foundations that say like luminous matte or like soft matte or even like hydrating oil-free foundations are good. Some of my favorite for combination skin are the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. The Too Faced Born This Way Original Foundation is also a good one because it's also oil-free. And also the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation is a good one. So now that you have an idea of what kind of foundation 
foundation would possibly work for you you want to get a sample of that foundation then you want to get a shade lighter and a shade darker so three shades just to be sure then you want to take that sample and run home as fast fast as possible so that you don't get influenced by the salespeople to actually purchase the whole bottle yet you're just kind of like trying to try it out first before purchasing the whole thing but if you're buying online just purchase the actual bottle and just try it out so then you want to try and swatch the foundations out either on your face or on your chest area if you have sensitive skin like me and you get redness around your chest area then you definitely want to swatch it out on your face so that you can compare the foundation to the rest of your face and your chest area to make sure that the shade is giving a balance between your face and the chest never swatch your foundation out on your neck because your neck tends to be darker than your skin so you definitely want to compare it either to your face or your chest area so you want to swatch out all three foundations and once you select the one that you think could work for you you want to apply it all over your skin without any other complexion products such as like concealer contour blush bronzer and all those things you just want to apply the foundation on its own and wear it out for the rest of the day just to see if you like it I would go out in natural lighting to look at how my skin looks like in natural lighting you definitely don't want to use like vanity lights or bathroom lights to look at the foundation because it doesn't give you the actual color definitely ask your friends and family like what do you think of this take pictures with flash as well just so that you're making sure that you're not getting that flashback with the foundation and it's always good to seek a second opinion as well sometimes even after we have the right foundation without the right base or primer that foundation you selected might not work for you because you're probably not using the right base to prep your skin and that is key to having a flawless foundation match that's why you have to watch this video right here because it's gonna show you how to get the right base for your skin type KLJ, welcome to a channel where it's